what's on your like kind of risk map in terms of ways out for Putin? Is it Trump being re-elected? I can't see Trump being re-elected because I think he's too mired in filth. And probably DeSantis could make it, but DeSantis is good on Ukraine. I'm 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 having less nightmares about Trump, um, which is sweet. Um, so I think that. The, the 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 serious danger is that Western politicians are used to trading and dealing and compromising, and that's kind of in their DNA. And with dealing with uh, with Russian fascism, um, by the way, Putin didn't used to be quite as fascistic as he is now. So he's there's something uh, there's something around about the the look, the start of COVID where he, he he goes into a darker place. So when I met him in 2014, he was subtle and sensitive enough to say, oh, here's an irritating prick from the BBC Panorama show. You know what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to treat him as if I'm a democratic president. And Which he was very good at, it sounds like. He was very good at kind of extremely good. smothering he was the question. Very, you know, well done, president. Like He gave a long and boring and fundamentally absolutely dishonest answer, but he gave me an answer so I couldn't say he didn't answer me. Um, and that guy has changed. So he's become more nationalistic. It may be because he thinks he's dying, in which case, uh, by the way, he may be wrong about thinking he's dying, but if he thinks he's dying, then he's got to move quickly because he's run out of road. But but I, I, I feel that the um, the best way of ending this is to give the Ukrainians the heavy metal so that Putin's war has failed, and then the Russian people, the oligarchs, some of the secret policemen around him think, this guy is useless, let's get rid of him. And the moment that sets in, then um, then that's not good news. When a Russian leader loses a war, their longevity is limited. Leone from London gets the last question, which is about Iran. So, so uh, of course, um, Putin's Magba just jetted over America. there. Magba Anglia, which is um, Farsi for death to America, death to Britain. So is, 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 um, will, will Putin be <laughs> able to get Iran joke. on Everybody side? Yeah. <laughs> John, will, will, uh, will um, he be able to get Iran on side? And what, what will be the impact if he does? I, I guess a bit more broadly, will his famous kind of statecraft, you know, get him out of the mess that he's made for himself? No, um, Iran is, I mean, they're just mucking around, I think. Um, they're just being, the Americans don't like Putin, so um, we're friends. But, but essentially, if you're a clever Russian, you're an oligarch, you used to park your yacht in San Tropez, you send your bastards to eat and you um, you park your money in the city of London. Da, 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 da. And now you can fly all the way to Pyongyang. You can go to Eritrea, and you can go to Tehran. And, and by the way, the nightclub scene in Tehran is not what it used to be. So, so I think that this is a pathetic attempt by Putin to make his disasters look less bad. And I don't think it's going to work. Um, and so I'm not very worried about that. I'm far more worried about the failure, or if people like Schultz persist in trying to um, pressure and weaken Ukrainians for a short-term and unlovely and unjust peace that gives Putin more time in power He'll come back, there will be more war, and the Chinese are watching. So, I, I mean, I'm, um, I see this as 39.45. We've got to defeat these people because they're evil, full stop.